Good Sunday afternoon, everybody. It is May the 24th, 2020. Today I'm making just a simple dinner, and uh, I'm making a, a barbecue, homemade barbecue sandwiches, and a potato salad. Now, I've already uh, fixed the barbecue. What I did was I took one of those pork roasts, and I put it in a crock pot, let it uh, cook up or not. Now, if you remember the sauce I had left over from where I made barbecue chicken last week. Uh, well, I put that in there too, let it cook on low all night. I tell you what, it's really, really good. And I'll set it for you here in just a minute. Now, uh, I think I have probably have uh, showed you uh, how I make my potato salad. And uh, I'm going to do it a little bit different today. I'm going to try something out, a couple of things out. Now, uh, my mom doesn't like some of the same things that I do in mine. So I've got uh, her some uh, boiled eggs and uh, some uh, potatoes and another bowl. I'm going to fix hers different. Now, here's mine. Now, uh, I got some boiled eggs in here. I got some potatoes. I got uh, some chopped up green pepper and I got some uh, chopped up pickle relish. Now, my, or chopped up uh, sweet pickle. And it's homemade. Or you can just use just store, excuse me, store bought pickle relish if you'd like. Now I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some more things in here. Uh, celery seed. Now my grandmother loved celery seed in her potato salad, so I'll take that after her. Uh, one jar of pimentos. Now I just put the. I don't drain them or anything. And this is where I'm going to uh, uh, twist twist it up a little bit. I'm going to add a pack of French fried onions. And give it some crunch. If you had bacon, you can put bacon in here. You can put uh, cheddar cheese in here. Whatever you want to do, it's just totally up to you. All right. So uh, I'm going to uh, salt this. A little bit of salt. And I'm going to put some dry chives in here. Now dry chives is about like an onion. It comes from the onion family. And that'd be good enough. Alright, so let me pause the video and I'll get back to you. Welcome back. Now, I'm going to make the dressing. Now, when I make potato salad, I usually fix the dressing separately and then pour it into uh, the taters and everything else. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some mayonnaise in here. Now, I just don't like just plain mayonnaise and mustard in mine. I like to flavor it up. And I'll show you here in just a minute. What I'm talking about. And I'm fixing this a little bit different too. Okay. Some mustard. Not a whole lot. Because it'll be too tangy. Now, here's what's different. Some sour cream. Put a little bit of sour cream in there. It'll bring out the tangy flavor. Tangy flavor. I'll put some honey, just a tablespoon or two. We'll make a honey mustard potato salad. Okay, about a tablespoon or two of honey. Okay, some pepper. This one is empty. I'll have to wait on the pe pepper later and some salt. And that's pretty much it right there. Okay, let me stir it up. Let's see. Well, the pepper is in the floor, so hold on a second. 
All right, everybody, welcome back. I found the black pepper, and I put it in here in this mixture, and I'm going to stir it up. Let me give it a taste test. important thing is to let this refrigerate and let all the flavors come together. Alright, don't that look good? Now let me get a plate and let me sample it for you. I pray good Lord will bless it. fried onions really make the difference in this. And the honey, you taste the honey, about a tablespoon or two and that's it. You won't need a whole lot. Mm. The green peppers, the, uh, the pickle relish, or the, the chopped sweet pickle, everything. I'm just so thankful. Well guys, I'm going to eat and thanks for watching. You can serve tater salad at any time. Uh, if you have a cookout, birthday party, church homecoming, whatever, here's the recipe of what I've come up with. All right. Hello. Take care, everybody. Keep those subscribers coming. Comments are welcome. Have a blessed Sunday.